right, guys, we are back for another Dokkan Battle video. Uh, let's go ahead and test out the blue fusions. Um, I'm going to do them one at a time. I don't really like the idea of using both in here at the same time anyway. So uh, this is one of the characters who I think is really, really good in the game, who I just am not the biggest fan of using in this fight. Um, I do think it's important to grade um, characters' performances on this fight probably is like the most important. This is the toughest fight, right? Like, I mean, literally the most relevant missions just added to the game um, were for this fight, right? But at the same time, um, I do think like more matters than just this fight because it is kind of like a red zone level fight. So I do think like performance across a lot of these fights does actually matter. Um, now, the blue fusions, I'm not the biggest fan of what they're doing in here. But, again, I'm not just making this up now. You go back and watch, um, you know, throughout the year, I've been saying I'm not a fan of them. Path to Power, Kid Goku, Beast Gohan. Like, there's particular characters where this type of fight can crunch them. Um, and and it, it, specifically what it is that will destroy them is um, uh, the thing. Uh, the AoEs. Uh, I'm going to predict... That he's just going to seal Goku, Carnival Goku anyway. And we can give these tech orbs to Vegito. Now, the uh, okay. Typically, the blue fusions, they suck in base. They're ass. Like, they're just, they're not doing anything special, right? Uh, but they do have 70% chance to dodge in slot three. So it's very easy to use them, even though they're not spectacular in base. It's very similar to uh, EZA blue Gogeta as well. Uh, the blue fusions are better in base since they have a higher dodge chance, of course. But it, it's, it's the same sort of concept. This fight in particular is very tough, um, because in this fight, I could have maybe kept them, nah, floating them off was a, was a good choice right there. Uh, this fight in particular, though, oh, no super? Oh my god, dude, please tell me he's gonna kill us instantly. <laughs> dude, if we <laughs> I don't know, we probably would live. I mean, depending upon how many super attacks we get, because what does Vegito get uh, on his 12 key super attack? And his 18 key. Is it, is it just he gets 30% on both? Is that what, That's what my brain is telling me. Um, no, he only... Oh, he, he only increases attack, huh? All, all he's doing is stacking attack. Oh, wait, let me... Let me qu quickly, let me double check. Bro, is, is he for real going to Super Vegito turn one? No, like that, not actually. That's so crazy. <laughs> no way! Are we going to jump in? And I'm going to say, I'm not a fan of using these guys because of this. So that with it, yeah, yeah he gets 30% defense on both 12 and 18 key. So, I mean, if he like double, you know, if, if we get one more, it's only a normal. Okay. I think we will live. He didn't super at all. Okay, bro. I was, there's no chance that this guy does that, right? Like, no chance. Uh, this kind of blows, actually. I mean, we got to get Bulma her orbs. I really want God Goku to stack, so I'm going to put Bulma on slot one. Uh, we're not going to get six orbs, but I trust God Goku. I'm not really too scared right there. Okay, and we'll go ahead and do this. Um, since I floated Vegito off, I might just cut right here, and we'll come back. Okay, yeah, there's Super Attack. That's exactly why I, I put God Goku in slot two. We'll be fine. I'm going to let God Goku attack, and then I'm going to come back on turn four, uh, which is going to be perfect. Hopefully, we could get through this guy quick. I mean, here's the other thing about the fifth anniversary Blue Fusions, right? They are... Some of the best units in the game because of some of the abilities they have, including the guaranteed dodge that both of the blue fusions have um, their first turn transformed into blue. But, I mean, check this out. We're, unless we kill this Tech Omega quickly, we're not going to get there. Um, I, I mean, I, I, if I... Uh, man, maybe going into this video, I should have thought about the fact that I would want to make sure that we are in blue fusion state. Um... Okay, maybe I, I guess... Okay, there's there's several things I'm starting to try and talk about. Int characters. If you want to get through Tech Omega fast, int characters. It's not just, oh, of course, int characters do extra damage to attack. No, no, no. Omega has extra damage reduction against non-int um, uh, characters, right? All types of characters besides int, he has extra damage reduction again. against. So that's very important to keep in mind when it comes to this fight, right? Uh, and I, I guess I misplayed what I could have done is I could have kept Vegito Blue, you know, on the first turn, which would have been a bit of a gamble, but I could have done it. Um, and then we could have been sitting here, and then I could have floated him off right here, or kept him on rotation, right? This sucks. I, I mean, Omega... 
is very likely to have just a very tiny sliver of health, which is really going to suck ass, man. Yeah, we're not going to kill him here. Damn. Okay, so we're going to waste the guaranteed dodge um, of Vegito Blue. I, I could do another run, too, I guess. Like, I, the thing is, is with these character-specific showcases, I, I haven't really been stopping at just, like, one run, right? Like, it's like, okay, like, you know, this character can do this good thing or do this bad thing, and, and I try and look at a bunch of it in these character specific videos so we could always do a, a second different setup for vegeto blue um certainly a character i'm already iffy about using in here i'm definitely going to use you know with a 200 percent leader skill uh, oh my god wait no 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 they could go crazy oh dude it's so good if we get to str omega and we have the guaranteed dodge no crit baby please no oh my god no no! You have got to be kidding me! My Carnival Goku is not gonna crit, man. He's not gonna crit. Oh my god. That's comedy. Yeah, that's it's really good. Uh, n not really. That sucks ass. Oh, wait, just completely... Like, the, com the video is completely ruined. <laughs> like, this guy's performance is just completely cucked by that. God damn it. We, there's no way, man. Like, come on. Okay, um, and look at this, like, we can't even, nah, I mean, dude, I, I can't, I can't put him in slot one, are you kidding me? That's only four, is this, this one, uh, things went really bad really fast, okay, no Bulma support activated, uh, I mean, let's hope that he supers right away, and tags God Goku, he did not, okay, all of a sudden this run is, is, is ass, this, this, this run is cheeks, ball cheeks, ball sacks pretty disappointed um yeah so i mean we go into this aoe phase see now we're in real big trouble because it's like blue vegeto and blue gogeta like they start out you know kind of weaker you know they, they got to do a lot of attacks to build up oh this is not a great rotation right here um i mean we gotta go yeah you gotta go inside one can i get some orbs dude we have no bulma support uh, we don't really have good orbs yeah this this run is just dead Strong is just that. I, I don't know if... Um, I mean, maybe I'm just like... Um, there's a word for it, right? It, it, uh, it's not Mandela effect, right? That's not what I'm thinking of. But, like, I, I feel like in this event, I've been unluckier than ever. I don't know if that's actually true, right? Like, is is that actually true? But it feels like it. Like, it feels like every turn, dude, orbs are just... Like, I, 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 like there probably is something to that. I, I, I definitely have noticed across all my years of playing the game... Different events do seem to spawn orbs differently. That is definitely the case. I have no doubt about that whatsoever. Uh, Super Battle Road in particular is terrible with orbs. I, again, I, I I don't think that's just some bullshit I'm making up. They should be a good, right? I, don't, I can't remember how many supers they've done. Oh, okay. Lovely. Uh, well, we lost. I mean, obviously. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't, like, dude, did I make 50 misplays here? Like, all right. I, this, this piece of shit, like, I, I can't predict. Once we get to STR and in Omega, I can never predict where he's going to super attack. I, it, it's just, it's completely random. Like, it's like, I, he's killed me killing this, the slot two character so often. I mean, I don't know what we do. We're just, we're completely toast. Like, like what, what in the, what is Vegito Blue supposed to do here? Oh, we have no orbs again. Yeah, dude, like, okay. Hmm. Uh, okay, man. Sure. Um, sure. Not really a great, uh, great run, was it? Let's do this. And then we could do this. And then we could do this. I mean, I'm pretty sure we're just dead. The AoE's just gonna kill us. Like, okay. A great run. I mean, can I blame Vegito Blue for this? I guess I can't, right? Is it his fault the fight went wrong? Probably not. All right. Oh, no way he's actually going to get supered. Oh, no. Yeah, there's the, the AoE. Yeah, I mean, that's obviously a reason I don't like bringing the blue fusions into this fight, right? Uh, I mean, the thing about the blue fusions, they get 70% uh, chance to dodge in slot three, right? Even in blue, in blue and base. But that doesn't actually proc until they attack. So if Sin or Omega, if he's they're doing AoEs at the start, 
the Blue Fusions are getting hit. Like, they're getting tagged by that. And you can't really do anything about that. Like, the, a lot of people were saying, like, oh, why is he not using the Blue Fusions for the final trump card mission? It's because I don't like them in this fight, for sure. I Not really too much of a fan. That first run didn't go good. I mean, I don't know if it was misplays or bad luck or whatever. Let, let, let's, let, let me, let me, let me, let's, I'll keep y'all with me for a second. I'm probably going to skip ahead. He's in turn two. Okay, th no, this is perfect. This is perfect. This is perfect. Um, what do I want to do here? Damn it. The, the problem is, man, I'm, all right, I'm, I'm actually starting to get pissed off. Because I want Vegeta and Trunks and Bulma on the other rotation of Vegito Blue. Um, we're going to get you out of here. And we'll do this. All right, so, um, here's what we'll do. We'll do the first rotation with Vegito. Do this. Yeah, we'll do that. We're going to do the first rotation of Vegito. I'm probably going to leave him on rotation. And then I'm going to float him. No, no, no. I'm going to float him off. So he's going to come back on turn five, right? So Vegito is going to come back to us on turn five. Hopefully, we'll be on STR Omega. Um, I just... Th there was... It, it was just per a perfect storm of just horrible, right? Like, we had Vegito Blue out there. Um, and, you know, like, Sin... Like, oh, okay. I keep calling him Sin. God damn I, I got to get that out of my brain. But Tech Omega, he lived with a tiny sliver of health, right? And then Vegito Blue, you know, it, the, the Blue Fusions are, are, like, they're pretty weak, their first turn transformed. But you don't notice because they have a 100% chance to touch, right? But it, it, it just ended up being very unfortunate, right? Tech Omega cancels dodge. I couldn't even put Vegito on slot one to even get one attack, right? Remember that Vegito and Gogeta, they have the same ability, uh, which is where in their transformed 18 key super gives them 50% defense for three turns. So we really were not able to take advantage of any of Vegito's strengths, and we only ate sort of his weakness at the end right there. So it's a pretty bad first one. Um, I'm not going to just it, it instantly walk away and say, yep, he's asshole in this event or something like that, but it was just a pretty uh, awful first run. Um, okay, so... Again, we're going to float him off right here. It probably would have been better if Vegito was either in slot 7 or in the first turn, right? Although we did do a lot of damage. Vegeta and Trunks gave him a lot of... Oh, this is a perfect, perfect super attack placement. Since I do want to get through Tech Omega fast here, um, and that was perfect super attack placement. Okay, so we'll do this. So now we're going to go, bam, right there. There's He he can't super attack. I believe the cooldown on this guy's super, it, it's, it's five attacks. So he's probably going to super either Vegito or the 8th Anniversary LR is what he's going to do. Oh, let's do this. It's not really super important that the blue fusions in base um, get their 18 key or something like that. Like that doesn't—it doesn't really matter. Uh, just give me the most key you could get. Uh, now remember, um, if Omega supers in slot three here, I think Vegito can live if he can at least. I mean, he's going to do two supers because they do have the guaranteed additional super in slot three, right? So, I mean, if he wants, if we get the hidden potential system additional, any triple supers, I think we can definitely live. Uh, but I, I don't know. I mean, Omega hits hard. Have we debuffed Omega? I don't, we don't have attack debuffers around, right? That, that's another big thing, I guess, is maybe, uh, you know, attack debuffers can sort of help Vegito at the start right here, where um, he can't dodge. I'm just kind of, like, there's no way the first run... He dies to the AoE in the second run. He's going to get supered in slot three. I mean, the, the clear correct decision here is to not have him on turn four, but try and get him any later turns. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. And they did a lot of attacks, so their defense is really high. Yep, perfect. Okay, awesome. Awesome. Okay, so so after this, <coughs> I can cut, um, and we will go ahead and come back um, in a couple of turns here. Uh, I probably, I was planning on pairing him with God Goku. Um, I felt like over in a flash would give them key and, you know, it, things could go very well. I mean, we could pair him with Bulma. We could. I think I'm going to pair him with God Goku, though. I just wish Bulma, um, wasn't on the same rotation. Okay, so, so now we're going to do this right here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and cut. I wish we didn't get all these goddamn wars. Damn it, dude. Uh, I'm going to cut and we'll come back once we have... Big Daddy, ready to go. Uh, Blue Vegito on turn uh, five. We will BRB. Alrighty, it's that time. Big Daddy time. Okay, so now this run will be able to properly utilize uh, the GOAT's abilities. So now he has a 100% chance to dodge on this first rotation right here. 
Um, we can identify the spot to do that, which is right here. Um, I really would... Uh, this is his showcase, so... I'm gonna trust God Goku. And maximize Vegito's damage and shit for a showcase. Yeah. Oh, my goat still got six, though. Beautiful. Lovely. Fantabulous. Oh, we love that. We... Oh, yes, we do. <laughs> yes, we're distinguished. We love that. All right. Uh, go ahead, Super Buddy. Oh, no. You're scared. That's fine. All right. Uh, buckle in. Uh, Daddy is going to work now. Um, after he builds up a bunch of key from this next turn, we should definitely be able to get to 24 key. Uh, remember, 24 key is pretty big because it gets him the additional super attack, which obviously I mean, you know, means uh, quite a lot. All right. But uh, big boy is still going. This is why... I mean, one of the major reasons why people love this dude still, right? Like, even though he's got these major flaws for this fight specifically, he still does this, right? Which is, uh, you know, pretty impactful. Now, I mean, against in Omega, I mean, he'd be in trouble. But I do think the chances are pretty good. Um, please, Super. <sighs> okay, really? Uh, I do think chances are pretty good. Like, if, if, if Vegito, if he got a full head of steam and he gave us, you know... Uh, bunch of super attacks he could maybe live like this guy's super attack he probably could um because remember vegito i mean he can just go and go and go it probably like it would be easier if it was his second turn in blue because his second turn in blue he would um yeah look dude look at this see exactly this, this is why it is why like vegito and gogeta if, if things go well like look at the damage we just did in two seconds like we just disintegrated this guy's health bar dodges for me baby mm-hmm of course. Of course. I got to give him his own video. But again, don't worry. Everyone's getting... Everyone is getting their own video. You guys, tweet me the characters you want to see, whatever. We're doing 10 videos per day for the next several weeks. We're, we're doing everyone. We're, everyone. Everyone is going in here. Right? Um, I do got to get to the World Tour for Omega. There's going to be Omega. I, I do... Literally, right before recording this, I did finish Omega's links. So we are ready to go there. Um, Okay. Now, we do have a bit of an issue here. Can you guys get what's, guess what the issue is? Anyone? Raise of hands in class. You guys have any idea what the problem that we're about to run into is? That is, unfortunately, um, Omega's int. So, we'll see what's going to happen next turn. Um, all right, Bulma Chan. Yep, perfect. Perfecto. Uh, we will... I, I, I'm just going to quickly toss this, actually. I'm just going to quickly throw this. I'm not even going to turn the animation on or anything. I, I just want to get this out. There's no reason not to do that right now. It'll give Goku, Carnival Goku guaranteed crits as well for the turn. All right. Um. So, oh, that's okay. That's not good. That's very fast. All right. It's going to hurt a little. Yeah. A little. Half of our goddamn HP is gone in a second. Uh, 10, 20, 30, 40... Shit, dude. Damn. If he... Oh, my God. Guys. Wow, this... Very sad. Um, If he had done one more AoE... Look at our HP. One more AoE in slot one, and he would have hit Bulma, and it would have pushed us below 40%. Carnival Goku would have healed us up. But Bulma, after super attacking, is obviously not going to take damage. Oh, Brother Bear, we are in big trouble. Uh, Vegito, I don't know what we're going to do. We need... Like, this is why, like, I don't... I mean, I don't know. Like, maybe I'm missing something, like, about, like, how to use this guy or something. But, like, aren't we just going to load into this next turn and we're dead no matter what? Like, it's like if we have, like, Orange Piccolo around or the Tech Androids or PyCon or something. Like, you know, what are, what are the chances that we could get a rotation where Vegito is not just going to instantly die? Like, instantly he's six feet under. Uh, if we die quickly on this next turn, I feel like I want to do one more run. Again, I want to be, I want to try and be very fair to all characters and really get a good look. Um, oh, wow. <laughs> well, um, what was that about, like, Orange Piccolo or PyCon or uh, the GT Spear Bomb? Thank you. Thank you. Oh, 
So, since we have the safety net umbrella, do we go for this? Damn, he's at 549. That's pretty good. 549 you're at, huh? I'm gonna, um... I'm gonna, I'm gonna transform with God Goku, too. We're going to get the huge damage increase from Super Saiyan Vegeta. Let's definitely do it. Oh my god, that damage, though. Okay. That's a W. Um... All right, so we are 100,000 million percent. We are going to die when it gets to that AoE. Dude, if uh, Vegito, if Omega, dude, Omega's going to super attack right away, man. If he, okay, I'm, I just want to set the stage for you. I think there's a very good chance Omega is actually dead if the first attack is not a super attack. It's literally that's like if that first it's going to be a super because his cooldown I think is five attacks and he supered literally first attack last time. Um, guys, listen, if he doesn't super right away, he's probably dead right here. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. All right, now we're not gonna get the Super Saiyan Goku because Omega's AOE is going to kill. Um, oh, yeah, this is... Damn, okay, do we need to do a third run? I think I'm gonna do... Th so, this ended up going very good, obviously. Uh, we could see his dominance here. I think we will... I'm gonna come into a third run, though, again, just to be fair. Should I switch up the team? Maybe we'll switch up the lineup a little bit, just to get a little bit more footage of him. But, I mean, we could see him putting on that dick parade right here. That's what he's doing. He's sling sling slanging it. Ooh, we love that damage. All right. Okay. A uh, super attack would be good, by the way. Yeah. That's 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 that's. Oh, how does how does Vegito eat this? It definitely would kill. But let's see how he takes it with all those supers. Oh yeah. Whew. Okay. Sure. 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 <laughs> Oh, come on, fellas. We couldn't get a crit daddy o right there. Damn, for real? All right, all right, all right, all right. Check this out, though. Check this out, check this out, check this out. We could use Bulma and Slot 3 for huge mega shenanigans. We can get maximum key for, for our boys right here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yup. And then now our our waifu is going to come correct and save the day. All right, so this, of course, will give us uh, support, all the good stuff. Um, okay, we should be good to go. I mean, you know what's funny is if for some reason uh, Omega lives this turn, Vegeta will annihilate him straight into the pits of hell, uh, into the lap of Satan with the final Kamehameha. So please, um, Omega, by all means, survive this turn, buddy, and uh, have Vegito deliver you straight into the pits of lava. All right, what's going to happen here? I mean, dude, Bulma's active is too good, right? Like, everyone's now super effective against all types. It's, Bulma is just silly. I just... I see people, like, not put her at one, and I'm just like, uh, Guys, please, man. Like, hello? 
Uh, come on. What else does she have to do? She does everything. She could do a lot of damage. She's got built-in crits. She orb changes. She has the... Her active makes the rotation super effective against all types, dude. Like, what more does she have to do to win people over? I still see people go, yeah, she's good. I got her, like, seven or something. I go, what? <laughs> seven? <laughs> just, just tell me you've never turned the game on, man. Please. All right, there we go. Pretty easy. Um, so, you know, why did this run go good? Uh, we made sure that Vegito, uh, like, we, we made positively sure Vegito transforms initial turn against, um, SCR Omega where he could dodge. And then we had an umbrella around for Vegito in the final phase. Because if not for the umbrella there, uh, I'm, pr I'm quite certain we would have died. Like, there's... Like, you just have to have such a nasty luck rotation, right? Like, it's like all the AoEs would have to be in, like, slot 2 or 3 or something like that. And, like, Vegito would have to be able to safely get his attacks off without having to go in slot 1 before he could build up a lot of his defense. Like, like he, he can do it, but, again, you just need a lot of things to go your way. That's, again, why I'm not the biggest fan of running the Blue Fusions, um, uh, LRB Skohan. Path to Power, Kid Goku, like, those uh, uh, those are all great characters who I'm not too fond of because you're putting too much in the hands of Omega. I, I would like to take as much, like, off the table and out of Omega's hands as I can. And I, I just feel like the Blue Fusions, while they can do a lot of damage, they give Omega a real easy way for him to just kill us instantly. Um, okay, I, I feel like this guy's too big of a name let's do let's let's go back in one more time uh we'll probably just come back uh on his first turn and we'll assess the situation i think i might change the team up slightly we'll see we'll see all right guys we actually got vegeto turn one i'm just gonna do the same team again i looked at vegeto's 200 leader skills and i'm like yeah you know i'm thinking we're actually just gonna rock the same team it's like vegeto is on uh str carnival goku vegeta and trunks lr gods lr super saiyan fours it's like i don't I mean, I'm, I'm gonna, they're going to obviously get their own videos as well. Okay, so here's what we want to do with this, right? We want... We don't want to float Vegito off right here and have him return on turn four when we, we very well could still be on Tech Omega. We're going to leave Vegito on rotation for one turn, and then we're going to float him off on turn three, and then he should be able to come back. Uh, you know, he'll come back into our, our graceful charity arms, um, and he'll be in blue fusion guaranteed dodge, uh, big dick mode, right? Uh, let's do this. Vegito gets key, so he's going to be fine. Um, yep, okay. Yep, looking good. They're at 24 because they're busted. Yeah, that's a stupid character. By the way, that's six orbs. Would have had Go Beast Go Hunter been like 16 key or something. Stupid. Terrible. So I, 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 I mean, I just did I just did the Beast Go Hunter video, man. It's like, you know, I sure wish, you know, he didn't need 15 orbs in front of his face, in front of his grill in order to be good. That would be nice. All right, uh, perfect RNG for us right there. That's very good. Awesome. All right, now Vegito can get his attacks in. As long as Vegito doesn't get super defensively, he should be at, at a fine uh, capability um, of tanking Omega, right? I'm not really too concerned about that. Um, remember that every uh, attack base Vegito or 5th Anniversary uh, Blue Gogeta do, any attack they do, they do stack attack in base as well. All right, uh, we'll come back for us next turn. Well, 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 well. If you're going to run the 5th Anniversary Blue Fusions, you want shit like this right here. This uh, is a golden ideal uh, situation descended by the heavens for us right here, huh? Um, okay. So we could do this. Boom. Easy. Uh, we could leave... Look look at look at his HP, too. We could definitely leave Vegito just right here. We don't even need to float him or anything. We just leave Vegito on rotation. Um, we'll come back. It'll be turn 5, and we'll definitely be up against um, STR Omega at that point. Then again, we have Vegito's guaranteed dodge. You know, we could cook. I, I just continue to remain very fearful um, about the final rotation. I mean, we things lined up perfectly for us last time. We were able to get to you know the revive uh, GT character out there. That's why there. That's why it is so important to have characters like Bulma, Orange Piccolo, the GT revive character. Um, I don't know. I mean, I may, maybe you could count like. Tech 23rd world. Nah, dude, his standby is just so ass, man. <laughs> that shit is so shit. 
I have not gotten it in this fight yet. I've, I've used 23rd World Tournament Goku quite a bit, but it's just, he just has such a dreadful restriction. Um, you know, maybe we're going to do a video on, like, uh, Piccolo Jr. and shit like that, right? Like... Maybe in his video we'll be able to get it. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, we we get well, here. I'm gonna I'm gonna skip ahead again. We'll come back once uh once Daddy is blue. All righty. Um, somehow we did not finish uh, Omega in that last turn, but it's all good. So first turn against SCR Omega Vegito Blue. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely gonna get that voice. I hope you guys know that that's coming in voice real soon. It's coming. It, yeah, it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. And uh, you're all going to shit yourselves when uh, it happens. Uh, oof. Do we give Big Daddy the full round right there? Uh, I'm tempted. Uh, I mean, well, he we got two AoEs coming in hot. He's not super in God Goku. Nah, I'm get, uh, no, we're, I'm sorry. I'm giving it all to him. And we still get six. Of course we do. <laughs> of course. I gamble and it pays off. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, okay, well, uh, I got bad news for you, Omega. Uh, it's not looking too gravy for you, my boy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yep, there you go. Nice dodge. Nice dodge. You could eat that. That's fine. Double digits. We love that. Nice 6 million HP recover when you have full health, Omega. What an idiot, dude. <laughs> what a jackass. Oh, uh, watch me heal. I have full health. Yeah, nice, stupid. Yeah, heal this, bitch. <laughs> what a moron. Oh my god, this guy's a clown. Uh-oh, oh, we're not done. No, no, no. No, no. Uh, here, hold this. Um, oh, by the way, still not done. <laughs> Owie. Yeah, sucks to be you. We're still not done, pussy. <laughs> oh, damn. He's like, please, man. <laughs> please. Yeah, pretty good first turn right there. And we do love that. That was the max Vegito could do, right? That we we got his best turn right there. Awesome. Uh, well, I guess besides if we did the active in like slot three, um, that would then we'd be able to get one more, right? But um, yeah, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. We damn near one turned STR Omega right here. Now, typically, the slower you go through this fight, it, it is the better. So I mean, Vegito taking off, uh, you know, seventy five percent of this guy's health by himself it might not be the greatest in terms of our prospects of winning, but. You know, we did just win the last time, so... Alright, um... Well, Vegito continues to eradicate. By the way, I did make sure that we were specifically on this team. Uh, what, one major reason I didn't want to switch teams as well is because... Uh... That girl. That, that, that big time bitch. The bitch that is number one in the game. LR Bulma. The queen. The goddess. The king. She's the queen of the game and the king of the game. She's both. That's how good she is. All right, that's how good. That's how goddamn good she is. We got the, yeah, we do. We do have the standby for next turn. I might actually intentionally not do the standby though, um, because we've this is perfect. We've already we we secured our W. We already won. You know, we got our W. We all saw. For science, it's to see how Vegito will perform without like the the standby umbrella around. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, we'll take a little bit of damage right there. Oh, well, that's a little bit more than a little bit. Yeah, Veg I mean, Vegeta and Trunks, they are good for this, but, I mean, what what can be very bad for them, um, and, you know, of course, a lot of them get hit very hard, is if they get sealed and stunned at the start, it, it could be kind of rough for them. You know, they could start to take a lot of damage. All right, so what are we looking at right here? Yeah, see, I mean, this is just not... Uh, okay. Yeah, sick orbs, man. Yeah, let's just do this. He'll be a little bit stronger defensively, uh, like, after he supers in this form, right? Um, okay, so we don't actually have the standby, by the way. I, I wish, I mean, I wish we had it, but I guess we don't. I guess they haven't been hit four times on turn seven, somehow. Uh, Alright, let's see what happens here. If Omega supers at all, I think we lose. Three dots, Vegito? 200 he takes okay and they took 158 uh oh so okay we lost and it's not even like i sandbagged or something like that they apparently hadn't been hit four times so yeah that's gg um and th this is a typical turn where omega's like watch me do 50 aoe's and slot one and we're dead okay yeah I again that th this is more so the reason i'm not the biggest fan of running vegeto in here 
And again, I don't know that there's really a misplay there. It's just uh, we didn't get hit four times on that one character to get the standby. Like, it's like Vegito in the final phase. He could do a lot of damage even through the type disadvantage and stuff like that. We saw the way he obliterated STR Omega. But to me, the risks with this character are not worth the rewards for how he performs in the last phase. Gogeta Blue was in a much better spot against Sin because the last phase was physical. So Gogeta had type advantage. But in, in this fight, it's going to be pretty much... I mean, Gogeta's still going to be better than Vegito in this fight because Gogeta's not going to have type disadvantage at the end, right? But, um, like, Gogeta doesn't have type advantage either. So, again, I'm I'm just not really the biggest fan of the Blue Fusions in this fight. You can cook with them, I mean, as we, we saw multiple times in this video, but um, I do think that there's smarter, better options. This is just not the fight for them. And, again, while I do agree that this is the most important fight to evaluate characters in the game, like, the Blue Fusions don't all of a sudden suck cock because they're not great for this fight. It's not how it works, right? They're still incredible characters, um, and they still dominate the entire game. It's just this is a... This is a bad fight specifically for them, right? Like, there's, there's other fights coming that they're going to be better for and shit like that. So, let me know what you guys think, and I'll catch you guys next time.